All right, now I'm going to show you how to add motion or uh, the kind of the Ken Burns effect to still images. You don't want to do this too much or else it can kind of look cheesy or have that iMovie, home movie effect. Uh, but, you know, if you add just a little bit of motion to your images, uh, you can make them come alive and make them a little more interesting. Uh, so here we have about a 20 second clip of Patrick LaForge talking and, you know, I really need some B-roll in the middle here to, to uh, make it a little more visually interesting. So let's just listen. Pass the torch, which sounds a little somber. I'm actually smiling. Well, I have a photo of him smiling. Actually, Rick took it. So somber. I'm actually I'm actually smiling. It's kind of a mouse somber. I'm, a I'm actually smiling. So I have a photo of that. Uh, I've already imported it here. I went to File Import and I imported the photo. I'm going to double click on it and see here it opens in the viewer just like a video, and uh, I can just click in the middle of this picture. Drag it down as another layer, like that, and uh, let's click the beginning. Let's watch it. It's a little somber. I'm actually smiling, but we passed the torch to uh, Daryl Cates, a hometown. So, um, which sounds a little somber. I'm actually. I'm thinking three seconds might not be enough. Um, often, if you are doing the zoom in feature, uh, the zooming in, zooming out, the image needs to last a little bit longer. This is three seconds, so we're just going to zoom in a little bit, and I'm just going to make this just a tiny bit longer, say to about here. Let's check that. Oh, it sounds a little somber. I'm actually smiling, but we passed the torch to. Now you see that was actually it was good, but it was kind of boring. It just kind of oh, it sounds a little somber. still I'm image. Smiling. But no still image. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make this kind of zoom out a little bit because, you know, the point of the picture was that he's smiling there. So we're going to add motion. To do that, we move our cursor to the beginning of the image like that. We double click and uh, we click here on motion. Now, Right now, my screen resolution is set quite small, so I, I can't actually see all the options. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to resize some windows here. Move this down a little bit. I'm going to take my viewer, move it over a little bit, like that. Okay, so I'm going to place this to make sure it's at the beginning of the image. And what I do is move here, and then I use the right and left arrow on my keyboard. I move to the left of frame. And you see that means that's the frame before, and I right move to the right of frame there. So now, and you can actually tell by this little L here, that means that that's the beginning of this of this uh, clip. So I want to start on him smiling. So what I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the scale here, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Now one thing I'm going to make note of when I imported that video, or sorry, when I imported that photo. It was actually about here, and you see, because the photo is a different aspect ratio, the photo is kind of squarish. It's kind of hard to see here, but the photo is kind of squarish, and the background video is 16 by 9. So you can see, here's the video behind it. So um, what I want to do is, there you can tell, it's, it's a different size. So actually, I need to zoom in on this anyway, so I'm going to zoom in just a little bit and I can click in the middle. In order to move it, you have to have, uh, you have to click on this little button, go image plus wireframe. I'm gonna move in just on the two of them. I'm gonna move in just, just a tiny bit more, like say about there. Mm, like there. They're smiling, everyone's happy. Now, to set this uh, uh, for motion, I have my cursor at the beginning, I've set my scale and my you know center point. On the keyboard, I hold down the control button and then hit K and that adds what's called a keyframe. So now you can see uh, these little blue dots means that I've, I've kind of set a keyframe with all of these settings. And now actually the entire clip is now set to that. So the whole thing is now zoomed in. But I want it to kind of move a little bit. So I'm now going to move my cursor to the end. I'm going to go right arrow and then back a couple frames. And you see this little L here means that I'm at the end of this clip, so I know this is the last frame. Now I'm going to zoom out a little tiny bit, so not too much. If you zoom out too much, it's going to go too quickly, and it, it, you've defeated the purpose. So I'm just going to zoom out just a titch to like there, and I'm going to move this over just a bit like that. 
and we can see Kate's name and everyone. Okay, and now I'm going to hit Control K again. Now what I've done is I set Control K for my settings here. I change them. I, I move to the end first, then I set new settings, hit Control K, and now Final Cut Pro or Express does everything else in the middle. So let's move to the beginning, hit play. Now it's a little somber. I'm actually smiling, but we pass the torch to uh, Daryl Cates. There you go. So uh, this section needs a little more work. I, actually, I, I don't like how it kind of moved to the left. I'd rather it move out, but you get the idea. This is how you uh, do motion. You set your keyframe at the beginning, keyframe at the end. Uh, this makes you appreciate how easy it is to do an iMovie. Uh, this is a lot of steps and a lot of work, but it's worth it. It, it, it makes your still images come alive. So. It's a little somber. I'm actually smiling, but we pass the torch to uh, Daryl Cates. So let's say, uh, you know, I, I really don't like how it's moving left to right there. I'd rather it was moving out. You can actually see here this purple line is our, uh, our trail. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move to the last frame again. And instead of uh, moving to the left like that, I can now actually move it a little bit the back like that. Hit, hit Control K again, and now I've kind of reset my settings. And now, oh, it sounds a little somber. I'm actually smiling, but we pass the torch to yeah. uh, Daryl Cates. That was nicer. So you can again, you can hit Apple K again and reset if you want. Uh, but there you go. So a little somber. I'm actually smiling, but we pass the torch to uh, Daryl Cates. And that's how you do motion.